You are a main staple in the RuPaul world. Oh, stop. You've made it to the finale four times. Four times. Isn't that crazy? Of RuPaul, and you've never won the thing. You must be fuming. <laughs> you, I, you know what? I'm here. I think I've already won. Okay. Oh, then okay. That's true. I get okay. to do theater. I get to travel the world. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very, very It's good. Grateful. Yeah. It really is, though. I mean, it's amazing how drag has become so mainstream mm. now. I was even chatting to a taxi driver recently who said, do you watch... He said, Ginny said to me, you're gay. Do you watch that RuPaul <laughs> Drag Race? Because myself and my wife watch it all the time now. <laughs> and I was like, it has become this massive mainstream yeah. thing yeah. thanks to RuPaul. Yeah. And it has opened up so many doors for so many drag queens around the world. Yeah, I, I, I honestly, what I've learned is drag is for everybody. And it's so accessible and it's so loving and accepting. And RuPaul's just done this magical job. It's everywhere now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for you, look, when did you start doing drag? My, for, my Halloween, when I was 16. Okay. It was just it was just a little dabble and I think it was just to to feel some sort of magic that I never felt before. I call my drag kind of my superman to my Clark Kent. You know, it's a cape and I, I think for me I had to put on so much stuff to reveal exactly who I was, which I think is really gorgeous. It, that's such a beautiful way mm -hmm. of putting it. Right? Like putting on layers and layers and layers, but this is you. And then it's like, "Oh, here I am," you know. And, and was I, this in a local bar or something like that? Or was it just oh, was a party a, or something? It was at a Halloween party it and it was a, a Halloween dare. party. And I, 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 it was the first time that I looked in the mirror and I said, wow, this is, this is pretty great. I, I really want to keep looking at this yeah. person. Yeah. This isn't me, but it is. It's, uh, RuPaul always says drag is an extension of who you are. And I think we all have drag, you know? And um, when you kind of, when you decided, you know, this is, this is for me, when something yeah. clicked with you. Yeah. What's it? Because I'm assuming now it is so, it's normalised, which is fantastic yeah. and a beautiful thing. But it wasn't like that. No. no. Just a decade ago. No, It not wasn't at all. all. Not at all. For, for me, it was, my, my love of theatre was really what it was for me. Okay. And when I went to college, I, I studied theatre. I couldn't really find roles to audition for, but drag was there for me. And that's how I got on stage. And the stage is the place where I feel most at home. And now I'm here, working the stage at the at the gaiety. At yeah. the gaiety, and we'll talk about it's that in a gaiety. moment. It's a gaiety. The gaiety theater. I'm mispronouncing what it. What are you calling I, it? The gaiety. Because I'm American. The gaiety. The gaiety. <laughs> Is that wrong? The gaiety theater. Well, gaiety. we can call it whatever you want. You're the appearing there. You want. You're appearing there. Where did the name come from? Jujubee? Yeah. From my drag mother. And her name is Charisma Geneva Jackson Tay. <laughs> I and love I'm it. so glad I only have one name. It's like no, Cher. Explain, explain to people what your drag, what is a drag mother? A drag mother is somebody who has basically been through the world of drag. They teach you what drag is. My drag mother taught me more of how to be and how to be respectful of the art. Because, you know, sometimes you move into a space, you don't know what it is, you only see what the visual is. Mm. But it, it's to appreciate that drag is art and it's acting, it's performing, it's makeup, it's dancing. I and, can't dance. And the but. fact that you had a drag mother like that, because I think a lot of people might think, when you watch RuPaul's Drag Race, yeah. They can be quite bitchy. Sure. And, and a lot of people do feel, oh, that whole scene is quite bitchy and they all sure. hate each other. Sure. They're all like scratching each other's eyes out. Yeah. But there is a sense of community among you all. Of course. It, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's basically putting people who always felt kind of left out and alone in a room together. Yeah. So it's really tense, but then you find the love in it. Yeah. You know, it's, it's really all about love. I do sass. I'm not so bitchy. That's Maybe. <laughs> sass. When it's a TV. Is that what you call it? Yes, it's a TV sass. show as well. Of course. You know, we need to have that little bit of And you keep going back for a reason. Yeah, back, back, back for more, which is coincidentally the name of my last album. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's back, what you back, did. Back <laughs> because you've gotten to do theatre, you've gotten to release mm -hmm. music, and it's all mm -hmm. in the back of it first appearing this in 2010. Yeah. So it, it did elevate you to a different level. Oh, yeah. I was 25, wide eyed, so hungry just for the world. And now I'm 30. 38 and I look great. Oh and you do? I, thank you. There's no work, just Fantastic. a lot of makeup. And some, <laughs> yeah. Just work. Just work. <laughs> but getting to do all of that, because yeah. it has offered you, like, you get to travel everywhere now. Because oh, absolutely. you're at this level. How do, would you ever be a drag mother to someone? Absolutely not. No. I'm, I'm, I'm a cat parent. That's who I am. Cats. Okay. Cats. You're not willing to do. Oh, that, no. No, no, no. A lot of work. No. A lot you of work be, in that. Do you, do you want me to be your drag mother? I'll be your well, drag mother. Well, I've never done drag in my life. 
Really? We've never. never made you do it on this show. No. Oh, See, I did. I dressed as Cher. Oh, come on. I dressed as Cher. Ooh. Remember, I dressed as Cher. That was the only time I've ever done it. I dressed as Cher. I want to see your picture so badly. Yeah, you look really good, actually. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. <laughs> what Cher? What Cher was it? Oh, in the, the full leather thing. It's like a turn back time. The, the turn, back turn back time. time. Yeah. yeah. I did that for Snatch Game. Did you? Yeah. I'm not going to ask you what Snatch Game I'm is. Not, <laughs> um, let's, let's move on. <laughs> what, 